Uh, I was debating whether to show you this or not because it's kind of gross, but I guess I should because it shows you how dirty or how effective this washing machine is. Look at that dirty water. <laughs> Hi, my name is Peng. I am a photographer and I am a travel addict. And as you may have guessed from the intro, today I'm going to do a long-term review of this Moyu portable washing machine. I'll talk about the pros, the cons, and maybe it'll help you decide whether this machine is right for your van or RV. And a quick note, this is not a sponsored product. I bought this with my own money, so you can trust that there is no bias in my review. I found out about these collapsible washing machines back in 2020 when my father traveled back to China and he had to go through a 14 day quarantine and these were provided in the hotels. These compact appliances are very popular in Asian countries where sometimes space at home comes at a premium, just like in a van. For example, we have a countertop dishwasher at home in China and to be able to store appliances away when you're not using them really helps free up counter space. At the time, I just ordered a storyteller, so I thought this would be perfect for the van. And yes, I did contemplate getting a dishwasher for the van, but I came to my senses. Now, if you're shopping for these in China, there are a lot of different brands and sizes you can choose from. Unfortunately, here in the US, we have a much smaller selection and all the collapsible ones I found on Amazon are gray market imports. So you're not going to get any uh, warranty or aftermarket support. That's why I chose this Moyu brand because they're actually owned by the cell phone company Xiaomi in China. And if you don't know Xiaomi, they're a, they're a more established, well-known brand. So I figured the quality is probably better than, than some other uh, brands that I've never heard of. There are multiple vendors that sell this washing machine on Amazon. I'll put the one I use down in the link below, but you don't have to buy from them. Again, not a sponsor or anything, but I did choose them because if you buy the original gray market one, it comes with a Chinese plug and this vendor, they actually replaced the plug with the American one. So it just makes it easier. So from the box, there is the washing machine itself, a carrying pouch, a spin basket for drying, and the power supply that I mentioned earlier that works on both 110 and 220 outlets, which means you can take this on international travels if you want. In fact, that's how this product is marketed. As a traveling washing machine, you can pack into your carry-on luggage. Although I doubt I will ever drag this around in my suitcase. The machine is very compact when collapsed. And when you're ready to use it, you just pull up the top like so. The design is simple enough. The top is basically a collapsible silicone bucket. Uh, the same material you see in some of the collapsible camping bowls or a camping sink. And on the bottom, inside is the spinning impeller. On the front, there is the control panel. On the right, there's the dirty water release lever. And on the left, the power plug. On the bottom, you have this very clever drain design where it stores away when you're not using it. And when you are ready to use it, you just stick it out like this. There are also these four suction cups on the bottom to hold the washing machine in place when it's spinning around. Overall, except for this flimsy water release handle, which I feel like I can pull off by accident, the rest of the washing machine seems to have a decent build quality. And using it is simple enough. To wash, you just throw your dirty laundry in, fill the machine with water. There is a max fill line right here. Put some detergent in and use this touch sensitive button to start a wash. There are three modes to choose from a five minute wash cycle, a 10 minute wash cycle, and a six minute spin cycle. You just push the button repeatedly to toggle between these three modes. Unless I have really dirty laundry, uh, I usually do a five minute wash cycle and a six minute spin cycle. Now if I do have really dirty laundry or if I have a lot of clothes to wash, I might bump that wash cycle up to 10 minutes or I might even add a five minute rinse cycle. So that's the beauty of this is you can sort of customize it to your own needs. To spin dry, you expand this dryer basket like so, clip it to the bottom, open up the dirty water release valve and turn on the spin cycle. This spinner does a pretty good job, but don't expect any miracles. Your clothes are still gonna be relatively damp, but it's at least better than nothing. Now to answer the question you've probably been thinking from the very beginning of this video, does it work? 
Well, after more than a year of real life use, I can tell you it works surprisingly well. In fact, I found myself not only using this in the van, I'm actually using it at home sometimes. But it's not without its issues. For a, um, let's face it, a glorified bucket with a spinner on the bottom, I was a little skeptical of how effective it is when I first got it. So I decided to do some experiments. I sacrificed one of my white t-shirts and rubbed it on my trail runner, which was covered in dirt. This is before. This is how it came out. So as you can see, it's pretty good. Since I'm filling water manually, I can control precisely how much water I want to use based on the load of laundry, which is very important because it helps me conserve water, especially when I'm boondocking. Another unexpected benefit is the ability to quickly wash a very small load of laundry. In fact, it's so nice, I actually started using this machine at home. Let me explain. You see, sometimes maybe I'll have just one merino t-shirt that needs to be washed on a gentle cycle. And to throw just one shirt in the full-size washing machine seems very wasteful to me. And now I can just wash it in this little bucket. Now this pro shouldn't come as a surprise. I mean, that's the whole reason why I got this washing machine because of how small it is. It's also flat. And uh, that means there are a lot of places where you can store it in the van. I usually put it in the overhead shelf. Also, almost everything fits in this pouch, so they're nicely together, except for the spin basket, which is kind of just oddly shaped. But remember, this is also an option, so you can use your hand to dry your clothes. You don't have to use or bring this basket with you if you don't want to. But I guess that's a good segue to go into the cons of this washing machine. At the end of the day, this is still a very compact washing machine, so don't expect to wash anything big in here. I can typically fit uh, two t-shirts, the merino and uh, synthetic, those lightweight kind, a pair of socks and a pair of underwear in there. Don't expect to fit any jeans or jackets. Although compact, this machine still requires quite a bit of water. If you're washing a full load, it usually takes about a little over a gallon to a gallon and a half of water. And if you're rinsing, you're gonna have to double that. So I usually don't use this in the van unless I know I have a good source of water, easy source of water. The dirty water release is incredibly slow. Now you do have the option to just dump the water from the top. And they even have these drain holes here to help you drain. But you have to be careful because I have noticed a design flaw. One time this touch sensitive panel just started going crazy on me. It just started cycling through all the different wash modes uh, without anyone touching them. And I had to unplug the washing machine to stop it. And I eventually figured out what happened was water got on this panel and some may have even seeped through this gap here when I dumped water like this. You know how on your cell phone, the capacitive touchscreen, if you splash water on it, it starts going crazy and start opening apps? Well, that's essentially what happened here. So once I dried this and let it dry completely, it was fine. And now that I've paid more attention to it, I'm trying to keep this dry, it hasn't happened again, but it is something that you should pay attention to. So, was I happy with this purchase? Yes, I was pleasantly surprised by how much I like this washing machine. It fits the way I use this van perfectly. In the summertime, I do a lot of backpacking in the California Sierra Nevada, and my backpacking clothes are few and light, so I really don't want to spend 10 bucks just to wash a few t-shirts and some socks at the laundromat. And this machine is perfect for me to do some quick laundries in between trips. I also know the area very well, so I know exactly where to get fresh water. So water is not a concern for me. On top of that, as I've mentioned, I've also been using this at home. So this washing machine really has exceeded my expectations. My trips usually last a few weeks at a time, and I don't live in this van full time. 
So if I were to live in this van full time, would I still get this machine? Well, this washing machine is still not a replacement for laundromat. It just doesn't have the capacity. But I think I might still consider getting it just because I like the flexibility to be able to do laundry when I want. And also, I think if I just wash some slow, smaller items in between my laundromat trips, and it can probably help me save some money over the long term. So are you a full-timer? Would you consider buying this washing machine? Uh, comment below and let me know because I'm actually really curious to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. And I will see you next time.